All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Haiku, Haiku season, season three, three, episode seven. seven. Oh, they're in the fifth set. The fifth set. In the, the final set. set. Yeah. It's the <gasps> final countdown. <laughs> Copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yes. Right. Um, so, so, so Hinata did did a super clutch play. Played off of, of oh Kageyama's yes, the light mistake. Yeah, tap. Just poke. Oh, yeah. so good. And, and uh, Tendo, Tendo, you could see him just being like, no. Yeah, yeah. But, but he guessed he tried so wrong. hard and got so okay. Far. Okay, we don't yeah, want to yeah. get everyone uh -huh. mad at us. Like, right, right. Songs. So, so now that we're in the fifth set, Kageyama's very tired. So this could this could complicate things. Yes. But so, Shijima looks like he might be a little bit tired too. Yes, the fatigue aspect I think is going to come into play in this set specifically. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be not just Kageyama. I think right. Kageyama is just the one that is getting the most like possession time with the yeah. ball. Like the most he spent the right. most time touching the ball mm -hmm. of anyone else uh, right. on the court. On uh, Kar Karasuno, therefore the he court. should be the happiest person on earth. That's yeah. that's true. Yeah, uh, but it, he's the harbinger of it, exhaustion. Yes, but uh, this is something where Suga could come into play and mm, take yeah. his place. The mm -hmm. the crazy thing though is that they have Suga going in currently as a pinch. Uh, server a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. This is now a new set, so he can come right. in and They've refreshed actually all stay that. in and stuff. Mm -hmm. What I'm curious about is if they're going to bring things back like they did with the uh, Abu Jusai match and have both of them on the court at the same time. That would be that pretty would be really cool. cool. I, I just mean, want to see some funky setter plays. Yeah. Um, also, I, I would say that there's probably going to be at least one or two other characters on Karasuno's team that will deal with a little bit of the fatigue issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think mm -hmm. Hinata's shtick, his boundless energy, mm -hmm. if you will, is going to keep him from, at the very least, you know, not going too hard into fatigue where he has to be exactly. taken off the court, but right. he has to, like, value his energy and uh -huh. use it accordingly. Well, and, and, and if anything... He Hinata himself might be something that makes Shiro Torizawa more fatigued because oh, they sure. see his boundless energy and it just pisses them off. Or he actually calls up some of them, like Sutomu, the first year rookie, to play sure. their best because mm -hmm. they're like, wow, this little kid in run around like this, this I gotta give my trip. all as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, guys, we're in fifth set territory. Yeah. We're in the end Oof. of the, the Haikyuu the anime the territory. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Oh, Jacob, I'm not ready for this show to be over, it's, or at least to go on break. Yeah, know? like that, to go on hiatus. Uh, it's going to join the rest day. of you that have been dealing with Haikyuu hiatus long land. It's been. Yeah, I think yeah. this show came out a few years ago. The the third, the third season. season. Yeah, I want to yeah. say it was like 2016. I think. Good grief. Yeah. But, All right, we're hyped. <laughs> episode seven. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one. Now. Oh. <laughs> because we have to see this over again. One more time. Then with his left hand. Just with nothing. Yep. Right there. Oh. I believe that is what is called a clutch play. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice come on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh. Okay. It's, it's something that... No matter when we're watching Haikyuu, yeah. even though I'm having the worst day possible, it's just like there's so much energy from this show. It just oh yeah, oh, it gets you. I I, lo I love that that whole transition though so much. The mountain, the, the highest mountain, point that they have yeah, to surpass, the, changing into Gada like an Yada. eagle and then being the the wings on a Shijima because it's Yada. also this great like contrast or or or. Uh, showing basically what Hinata wants to be because it's this other guy that's the big guy and he's got the wings and that's what they have to go up against, you know. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. So, but at this point, like, at this point, Karasuno, like, 75% chance they're going to win. I right? don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm back to, like, the 55-45 Karasuno going to win. Yeah. But... But it still can go both ways because like, yeah, they could. But like, but I, it, it would just seem so uh, wrong for them to go uh, right uh, up to the end and lose again in this one, just like they did in season one. We could. This that's the they thing. They could do it. That's but, the thing. They could have the episode end with like the game about to end. Oh, and then they have like two episodes 
post game, you know. Uh, sure. So it, I, I don't think there's anything limiting how they want yeah. the game to end, other than that it is going to end this season. Yes, yeah, other than it is going to end. I swear, <laughs> if Haikyuu did a cliffhanger, no, that would be awful. <laughs> Obsession. Atorizawa. Do 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 do. Oh ho ho ho. <laughs> Dang, that's referencing Carcino. Hmm. Oh wait! Awesome. Are we getting into their backstory now? Just uh, that we're starting be. with uh, Shiro Torizawa. Oh, and it. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, okay. Right. It's probably a good idea. It'll be tense for our hearts, though, because that means Kageyama will probably need to pull them back from a deficit. Oh, it'll be fine. Oh, oh so good! You got this, buddy. Oh. Oh! Oh, Kyoko! You don't know that! <laughs> <laughs> And Jack and Nishi and I are just like, <gasps> what the heck, Haikyuu? This wow. is so great. Just wow. Just uh, <laughs> well, well so let's say Suka is inspired now. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Right. Yeah, um. they can't let it go too long. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you, are so proud. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. No, okay. that's that was pretty good. Yeah! Wow! Yeah! First point. Here we go. All right. Oh. Oh. Whoa, I did not know that. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no. That, that's especially scary because that means Kageyama really doesn't have that long to rest. Right. One touch. Oh, nope. That's a point for Shiro Torizawa, yep. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. A oh, one touch. Oh, dang, Suga. Oh, oh, crap. Oh. <clears throat> Don't let him get to you, Suga. Yeah, Suga, you got this. He's so short compared to <laughs> Nintendo, too. Like, yeah. Oh, here he comes. You got this. You got this. The giant. Service ace. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Good job, Suga. <sighs> yeah, Nishinoya. It's coming in. Yes. Yep. Here we go. Whoa. What? Oh, that's so yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Wow. 
Yes! Yeah! 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 Woo! Oh, that's so All good. Right. <laughs> 100% offense. Yep. <laughs> Man, I love you, Suga Kun. <laughs> I think that's Tanaka's sister. I know, yeah. <laughs> You've got all the girls on your side. Yeah. Oh, okay, it is, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, that just walk away that <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> he is scary though. Like, yeah. But it's like he's embracing his scariness, you exactly. Know? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Refreshing. <laughs> <The Nintendo. laughs> I don't have time for any of that. Yes. <laughs> Soka. <laughs> ah! I don't know who that <laughs> is. Hmm. <laughs> 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 for a little while. Fix it. Wait, what? Is left handedness looked at a little weird in Japan? Hey, awesome. Yeah. Well said, Dad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, crap. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> he's so, he's so uh, inquisitive. Yeah. Oh. Hmm, perhaps. Oh. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Conquered nationals. Yeah. Whoa. Dang. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's so great. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. But you know what this is doing? Yep. <laughs> <gasps> Gotcha. It makes sense. He's a Libero, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Ah! <laughs> 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 
I love how they're making both sides be chanting. Just they're not scary. In the background. <laughs> I love how he just is so stoic. He's just yeah, like, yeah. Tendo, I listen to you, but I'm not going to keep this conversation going just because you want to talk. <laughs> oh! Oh, lucky! Oh. Very lucky! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> But the way they the way they also talked about how this set ends quickly makes me think it's going to be the opposite. Like it's going to go so long. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Oh, did you hear that music change? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is the... <sighs> oh, here we go, guys. This is the killer machine that's, you know, yeah. coming for you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so is this the... Uh, this is the strength. This is the strength that they talked about. Yeah. 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 Oh, All right! Wow! That was a cool way to get it over. Yeah. Okay. So, Tendo's gonna have to try and set it up, or he's just gonna try and get it over. Oh! oh. And Zuki had to... Oh, man. You got this, Nishinoya. You got it. You got it. <laughs> wow! <Yeah. laughs> he avoided it! Wow. Oh. Yep, yep. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And being in the presence of strength. Exactly. A aids to your yeah. overall experience. <laughs> ah. As long as you keep playing. Okay, so there's there's the little twist there. He can't hold back that he's right. trying to make his son like volleyball. But break their hearts. Oh. Oh. oh, he's starting to get into it. Oh, this is like Suki having his moment, yeah, yeah. you know? That was in. Yeah. 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 Holy crap. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is like Oikawa all over again. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Get up there, Suki! Oh. Here he is! Yeah, he, intention he intentionally right. hit Suki. You did you see that? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's... Like, he he was uh -huh. pissed because he was yeah. like, yeah. Suki was right there. Ah! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, all right. But okay, getting real this is a mental the end though. here. There's not much. I more know, time I know. For... Oh, Daichi, you got it. You're the man. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Suki. 
<laughs> Come on! Here we go! Rally, rally! Here we go! Oh! Alright! Oh my god! Yes, he is like Avenue Sun! Yes! <laughs> Okay, let's take this back. <laughs> oh! Hey! Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a rally. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! We, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Time out from uh, Karasuno. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh. Okay, okay. But that was Suki's block that made that made that happen. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. What happened? Oh. Uh Oh, this is bad. Yeah. This is real bad. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> What's he going to say? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> They're encouraging each other. Yeah, yeah. Sun and the moon. Oh, he hates it. He hates yeah. that he's leaving uh -huh. the court. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. Ugh. Uh, I, feel, I feel bad for him. I'm stressed, guys. Like, this is all falling apart. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up, Suki. Right? Uh He's trying to play it off like it's uh -huh. nothing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it hurts so much. What happened? Like, like, did it break? Oh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Daichi is channeling all his energy. Yes. Let the rest of the team know, Daichi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. It's so high. Oh, they're doing yeah. it again! There it is! Is he, though? Oh, he is hates Is Nishinoya dumps, gonna gotcha. dump? Nishinoya could dump. But... He could dump. But he's right up against Tendo there, and he's really short. <laughs> that looks really Oh cool. my gosh, here we go! He said it. Oh. Oh. 
Aww. What the heck? Oh, that's so cruel. That's awful. Oh. <laughs> he's addicted to it. He's yeah. obsessed with it. Oh, he's so scary. I love it. Oh, man. No. <laughs> what is it's it not like? Hatred. It's the desire to annihilate. <laughs> right, but like. What is their lead now? Four points or something? I think so. They're, they're at like eight points, I think, now. Yeah. So it's like... I think Karasuno was uh, at five, four? Four. Four. Okay, so yeah. And the fact that... Uh, it's at fact, 15. It's 15. 15. It's insane. You need like eight points to breach that kind of a gap again, you know? Unless you have a new Shijima, J Ushiwaka Japan yeah, on yeah. your team that just, just pounds his way through it. Just absolutely obliterates any barriers. Uh. What do you like a Bokuto to come in to Karsuno and be like, <laughs> Karsuno, what's your deal? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fix yeah. this, uh. come on. Oh, man. So Suki being injured is the That's... kind of injury, though, that he could totally come back into the game with, though. Like, Potentially. Like, if it's just a pinky, like, and it's cut, it's not necessarily broken... Oh, yeah, it's... I think the more annoying thing is that it, it, it could maybe get infected and stuff, so they wanted to clean well, it and bandage it. Sure. But, but if he, like, tightly wraps it, you know, I and basically know. makes the pinky mostly useless, but just kind of there... I don't know. It, it could be fine. It could be fine. Ooh. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. This fifth set, um, with three more episodes left, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not going to be over in the next episode. No. No, because they put... Uh, Shiro Torizawa is so far ahead. This is going to be one of those things where there's going to be like lots of mini comebacks on both sides as they both like pull in to fight hard on this. But I think we're now back at 50 50. Like, I think we're now pretty much evenly split. I okay. think Karasuno, if they win, it's going to be the most radical upset that we're going to feel like they earned it. Uh -huh. But the thing is, is that there's been so many shifts and just factors that have come against Karasuno this entire game uh -huh. that I, I don't I don't see them winning without getting a little bit lucky having some kind of power of right. you know teammate friendship moment. That's that's actually kind of why I think they can't lose. It's oh, not because gotcha. because the thing is that it's not that I think the Karasuno has to win, but it's that if they don't win then that means they lose. And with how they've been gotcha. setting things up here I can't see that happening because because it would it would not have the same oomph as as like as it could, right? Wait, wait, you mean the oomph of them losing wouldn't be as strong. Exactly. Oh right? gotcha. And because of that, I don't think that's what they're going for. Well the oomph is gonna happen no matter what with regards to the third years leaving. And that was something they actually kinda teased in this episode yes. from the callbacks for sure Torizawa's Moments uh -huh. as Tendo was as Tendo's as a first year, uh -huh. hearkening back to when their team didn't do that yep. well, yep. and they had to run back to the school. Uh -huh. um, yeah, yeah. Because I think they they didn't do well, and their third years left that mm -hmm. game. Right. Which I, I gotta say, if they're setting that up as a foreshadowing bit, that's really devious. But I still think that Karsuna has a really solid chance of winning because oh, yeah. here's yep. the thing that's really big here. There's multiple characters that are getting opportunities to showcase their character depth in high stress moments. And the way they make it really stressful is just make sure Torizawa this unbeatable exactly. monstrosity. Right. Yeah. And now that we're getting character development for some mm -hmm. of them, character characterization more sure. so. But but um, specifically along the lines of sympathy. Yes, sympathy. Like they are yes. they are they are they are specifically making us sympathize with the other players, not just seeing more of who they are, but having right. those having the those more sensitive two. feelings with them. Yeah, with Tendo yeah. and Ushiwaka, with the whole thing with his you know, Ushiwaka's dad, which is all oh, fantastic. So good. The whole thing of left handedness and your difference is what you know, the fact that you're different from other people is gonna be your strength. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Love it. Love it so much. And Nintendo having this 
problem socially because kids just yeah. you know kids just you know gravitated mm-hmm. away from him because of his mm-hmm. personality and stuff right. and he didn't change he right. let exactly. that difference be yeah. his strength where oh, like you know where, where they're uh what, what was what's the line that Tyrion says where their insults like armor or or uh, where, uh he's like he's like don't hide behind you know being a bastard wear it like armor so it yes. can never be used to hurt you exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Tendo fully accepts that he is a monster. Yep, he's yep, a he, monstrously good volleyball yeah, player. Yeah, he he's a, he's a creepy little bugger, and he's going to use that to absolutely psych out his teammates and he, win in whatever way possible. He's not little. He he big. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that shot, that shot of with Suga, Suga, like because Suga Suga isn't big. Suga's but certain, average. Suga's like five ten or five eleven. Yeah. Or or well or maybe, maybe shorter five, than that because they're in high. school. Oh, that's true. So he's probably more like five, five eight, seven or five, five eight. eight. Yeah, yeah. But you know, but he's not he's not short, right? Yeah. And Tendo's like but, six foot. But one. then looking up at Tendo and it's just like, oh yeah, and Tendo just uh, Yeah. Like <laughs> new setter. Oh I will that's break, lame. I will break your like what what was it? Your your heart? Your heart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> guys, like this is something I love about Shir Torizawa mm-hmm. is that their characters they're not trying to dump all of them on us at once. Nope. And they're not even really developing all of them it, well, the, well they're like, not even really touching upon mm-hmm. um yamagata hayato right or, or, or uh, taichi or taichi yeah mm-hmm. hayato or taichi like i've gotten like almost nothing mm-hmm. with them yep. uh, leon they've given give it a tiny bit tiny bit but not really and then and then uh their setter a uh, shirabu mm-hmm. they've given a little bit yeah a little bit of and characterization Sutomo, they've given but a... Sutomo, they gave actual motivation yeah, yeah. They, they gave and good goals of yeah, but it's but it's but it's Mainly Tendo, Tendo Ushijima. And Ushijima. Yeah. So when when Tendo is revealed to be someone that, uh, yeah, he he had a different kind of bullying. Mm-hmm. He was more ostracized than bullied. Um, right. And it's 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 still a form of bullying yeah. because they're basically get, mm-hmm. they're taking away the opportunity for him to connect with these kids and stuff. So right. what I get a picture of is when he was a first year, he kind of had to fight his way to be on the team and be accepted for you know what he could do oh, but sure. the thing and is is that he was i think and that was all he had was was kind exactly. of his own yep. his own style so mm-hmm. the coach's belief in him yep. i think reaffirmed that okay mm-hmm. i'll just stick with it and do my thing yep. i'll just stick with this and yeah they'll right. they'll eventually respect me yeah, but in some ways, he's not doing this for their respect. He's doing it because he loves it. Exactly. He's obsessed with yeah. the sport. The, the whole, he, it's fun to him. The whole idea that he ha- probably had to fight as a first year to, like, you know, be on the team. And we don't necessarily know if he was, you know, in the starting lineup. Sure. Sure, as, yeah. as, as in his first year. Who knows? Um, but if so, oh, he probably relished that. He oh, probably yeah. enjoyed it because because he's <laughs> like, oh yeah, that that whole fight thing. Yeah, I've been I've been doing that my whole life, and 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 I I accept that. That oh, is yeah. not a negative thing in my mind. He's like, I have too much fun with this sport to exactly. care right, about right. what you all think of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, which is just it's it's awesome. It's encouraging. It's something about yep. the Karasuno players that none of them have any personality quirks that are so dislikable that the team avoided them. Tsukishima's uh, early problems was the closest to that. Mm -hmm. But even then, Tsukishima kept to himself. The thing with Tendo is that he's expressive and pushing it out. So He, He wears his heart on his sleeve. Absolutely. And kind of then tries to dismantle. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, and and I believe, I believe it's not necessarily clear, but he might not be a third year. I'm yeah. not. I'm not I sure. He is because, I think he is because they've they have established that um, that uh, uh, Sutomu is the only first year. Right, but I think there's a possibility that he's a that second, he's a second year? year. Yeah, but, but I he don't doesn't think call so. he doesn't call the Shijima senpai. He calls him Watoshi uh, Wakatoshi. Yeah, that's that's true. Wakat what Wakatoshi, Wakatoshi Kun. Yeah, thank right. you. I've got yeah, the yeah, name yeah. right. So here. I'm I'm pretty sure they're they're yeah, the same year. Yeah, they're the same year, which makes sense because well, okay, here's another thing: mm-hmm. the fact of how much he was talking to Shijima. Yes. Right? That one that yeah gives the idea that he is a, they're a peer that they're they're peers and all that mm-hmm. stuff. But also, also, it could be basically him seeking connection ah, and sure. with someone like Ushijima who is so stoic and so unaffected by other things. He's like, this is someone I can I can jive with because, because he's not going to care at all how I am. He's, he's not he's going so to care at all about on me. what he focuses on. Exactly it. right. Yeah. And then that way he can he can make all kinds of jokes and talk about all kinds of crap. Right. And even if Shijima doesn't even really respond, right? right. Even if it's more or less a one way conversation, 
that's fine. Yeah. Because, you know, it's it's yeah. like like it makes me think of the Ron Swanson line of one of my best friends was uh, the, <laughs> the person who does my hair or whatever, uh, my barber. Don't even know his name. We, you know, we still don't talk sometimes. Like, you know, right, right. Known for three years, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what we what we learned specifically about Ushijima was that when he was younger, he was kind of a regular kid. He didn't mm-hmm. have any specific insane passion for volleyball. Mm-hmm. Like, just to make that clear there. The dad kind of imprinted on him the desire to be good at volleyball by spending time with him. Exactly. By nurturing that. Yeah. And he was a good dad. Oh, yeah. That's one of the coolest yeah. things I've seen in this whole... Uh, like kind of backstory mm-hmm. bit here was that they actually gave the dad mm-hmm. a cool setting in the yep. whole thing. Now I know it's stereotypical that the dad is the one more involved with the sports than the mom. Oh sure. But the thing is, is that generally in these types of coming of age stories, the dads are relatively absent. Right. They just don't exist because you can't have parents in in any stories right. about high school. But but I love that in this one, the dad was. The he was stepping into the bounds of where in other stories they generally have that be a negative thing mm-hmm. where they're trying to be like you should be involved in the right, sport right. that I'm involved yeah, in but in this yeah. it's more of a thing uh-huh. of I would love to see you fall in love with volleyball basically right right exactly and that was that was the the TLDR of what he was saying to him yep. and the thing is is that he didn't necessarily go into volleyball to be like his dad nope he went into volleyball to be like that guy his dad Uh talks about exactly and the thing is is that you know what that means Uh uh-huh he wants wants his dad to talk about him the same way exactly it's just oh it's so wholesome it's because it's it's the idea of not being you know because there's i mean who doesn't want to be want to be like one of their parents right but but with this it's basically saying i want to be the hero of one of my parents oh yeah you yeah. know mm-hmm. like and that's just for that's sure just awesome yeah that's 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 good like, stuff who, who right can't there. get behind that as I know. like a character I know. motivation it's something that i think his personality is one that we haven't really been given an explanation for we Why don't he's so stoic we don't that. yeah we don't need it necessarily but yeah. but we do know that his character is one that has probably since that day focused on this goal mm-hmm. almost non-stop i think that's yeah. pretty easy to extrapolate from there and if oh. that's the case mm-hmm. he's someone that probably doesn't have that many real friends what he has is yep. other mm-hmm. people that he probably encourages towards their own goals yep. mm-hmm. and they encourage him towards his goal I, I, and yeah. i feel like that's that's a good sports friend Sports friends, I would say, you can have a lot of like boundaries where it's like, yeah, we don't talk about home life or personal stuff or anything. We just get on the court and we make stuff happen on the court. That's sure. how it is. Keep it simple and there you go. Yeah. But the thing is, is that when Sutomu talked about him being the ace, mm-hmm. and he's like, I'm gonna be the ace, and he's like, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, he's gonna be like, and and it, and it, like, that was go, probably dude. entirely serious. It was, it was very sincere, probably. Yeah. yeah, and and I feel like the the like if like they might not really give us much of an explanation for Ushuaka, but right. if they did, I feel like what it was was the part where his dad was basically saying, seek out environments and people that are yes. strong and 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 different yes. and all that stuff because that's where those that's where those places congregate and they will rub off on you yeah, in the yeah, right way. Powerful ways. strong people congregate in those environments. Exactly. The environments attract the people. Right. And I and think it helps you make it helps make you more like that. Exactly. This is actually a really deep w- piece of wisdom. Like mm-hmm. guys, this yep. is something that this is Caleb and Jacob talking directly to you guys as like something that we've learned that's just 100% true that the dad is mm-hmm. spot on he, here. He kind of mentioned it here is like this doesn't have to be about volleyball. No, it doesn't. Yep. Environment is stronger than willpower. Yep. What that means is that the environment you put yourself in. Now, you can be subject to your environment. And you have no choice but to be in this environment. It's an example would be your your family when you, you, right. you can't move out or something like that. Um, your job, you have a little bit of choice and a little bit of you yeah. know subjectivity. More, more to that. choice than most people would think. I, yes, know? that's true. But the thing is, is that an example would be like the people that you spend your time mm-hmm. with and stuff. They rub off on you, mm-hmm. and you end up adjusting in some ways to fit more naturally into their environment or right. into the environment that they are in. Mm-hmm. So what this means is that you are not stronger than that environment you place yourself in. You cannot beat your environment. Now, most of us in our young kind of, I can do anything kind of 
mindset and yeah. stuff believe that no we can we can be better than that mm -hmm. that is probably possible but it is yeah 99.99999 percent of the time like not the it's case. the idea that yeah sure for a while for a while but eventually <laughs> eventually eventually yes. <laughs> You will adapt to your environment. That's what mm -hmm. humans do. That's what humans are good at. It's yep. what, it's our greatest strength and our greatest weakness. Yep. And and you can basically bypass the willpower aspect yep. by just basically making it so that you stay in an environment that will take you the direction you want to go. Right. An environment that challenges you. An mm -hmm. environment yep. that is one where people are moving forward constantly. There's right. no static exactly. uh, laziness or anything yeah. like that. Everyone's exactly. focused on a goal. We move mm -hmm. towards the goal. And the thing is, is they don't really care about your goal mm -hmm. that much. They're going after their goal. But the thing is, is that because you then go into their environment and go, oh yeah, I'm gonna choose a goal. I'm gonna make a goal. I'm gonna go after exactly. it. Everyone else acknowledges, hey, we're all going after goals here. Cool. We, Not necessarily because, thing. because we celebrate in some ways ourselves going after goals, we can't help but celebrate anyone else right. in our environment that happens exactly. to be going after goals as well. Yep. So therefore you get that and it's this yeah. circular just I would you say one just of the most hum. amazing things ever. Yeah, it's like a it's like a motor going, you know, at thousands of thousands of RPMs, and you just hear this. Mm. Mm. You it's, think about it's it so good. Way. Hinata would not be, or all the players of Carcino oh, sure. would not be nearly as good at mm -hmm. volleyball if they did not actually like join Carcino as a team. Yeah. If Hinata had basically kept doing what he was doing, yep. one, he probably would have stopped eventually. In yeah, all, do in you remember how many times he was? almost puking in the bathroom and stuff and freaking out oh yeah 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 all of that well and and the thing is that even with an exceptional <clears throat> case like hanata he probably would have stopped but yep. but in other cases that that that's just that's just how it happens um uh but, but, but uh, what's the other car scene player that got a bunch of development um in season two suki no 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 um the second year i forget his name for some reason the second year nishinoya no, no, no. The one, the one that's not one of the regular. Oh, oh, to break. oh. Um, that, that replaced Daichi when Daichi got injured and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But point is, point is, yeah. that is what happened with him, right? Uh -huh. And we, I think we talked about it probably in the totally. episode where where that basically was brought up. But that's yep. that's that's the example where because he allowed himself to be removed from the environment of the team, right? Yes. He he fell out of that that wondrous frenzy of pursuing the thing that they were deeply passionate yep. about. Yeah. Well said. And yeah, so the the fact that they basically brought that up for Shiro Torizawa, not just for Ushiwaka, but also just that whole aspect of the team, mm -hmm. like of how how the coach, even though he's a very you know harsh, rough, you know, you know grouchy grandpa looking dude, he encourages that aspect of it. Right. Know? His whole thing is creating an environment in a team that is full of strong players. Right. Because I think he realizes that his job is not to cultivate the environment. His job is to attract the strong players who then will, th they will then create the environment mm -hmm. by right. their presence. Because the coach isn't one that's going to be bonding with the players at that level. No. It's not really his job. He's just helping to basically guide their development. Yes. Or, or even, or even more so, just to provide the overall vision so that if everyone, if anyone ever loses track of what the overall goal is, sure. he's a reminder. He's like, yeah. we're going to yeah. nationals. Right. And I'm going to be yelling, frothing, screaming until you guys make it to nationals. Right. So yeah. hey, he does a great job at that. Mm -hmm. That's something yeah. that I think I was a little bit worried about the coach uh -huh. from the beginning. And but now I see, no, what makes mm -hmm. him good is that he's passionate about the goal, about the vision. Right. There are a yeah. lot of other players that are passionate about the active participation, the Hanatas, the mm -hmm. Kageyamas, the yep. Tendos. Right. And then there are others who are so honed in on their own vision that they every once in a while need to be reminded that they can tap into the energy of their environment, mm -hmm. like Ushijima, right. like Tsukishima, mm -hmm. yep. in order to essentially go beyond right. uh, what they would normally be able to do. The whole frothing at the mouth thing a lot of times gets a bad rep because it's mm -hmm. basically something that is used to try and force people to do something that they don't want to do, right? Oh, sure. And in that sense, it, it totally doesn't work. Right. But when you get people that are basically, yes, they, they are they are on board, they're wanting to do that, right. then then the, then the whole you know occasional <laughs> frothing at the mouth thing basically is just lighting a fire under them that's saying, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay, go, let's go. go. Ah. I can't feel sorry for myself. Let's do this, let's do this, let's go. Arr. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, you know, and then you get monster volleyball teams like Shiro Torizawa. Right. It's something that I, I think I, I, makes me love Haikyuu so much is that a lot of the themes, the, the uh, messages, the overall, uh, I would say the stuff that you can glean out of the show 
uh, applies to everyday life because this is a show that's about more than just volleyball. It's about people. It's about characters mm. that are each going after something. They want something. They believe in something. They're passionate about something. Mm -hmm. And all of that, you know, you can replace the something with whatever. You right. know, it's a thing. It's, yep. It doesn't. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. The yeah. the the verbs and all of that still apply into you know other things and stuff. Right. So I, I love getting into that with regards to Haikyuu, especially when it comes to characterization and also character yes. interactions. Yes. So big plot things this episode. Shiro Torizawa is crushing it. it. Yeah. Crushing it. And this is the thing. This is effectively a cliffhanger because Ushiwaka, he's still serving. Yeah. He's still serving. Yeah. This isn't over. Like, we haven't gotten out of this yet. Also, Tsukishima is taken off mm -hmm. of the court. Yep. Now, let's let's be real here. We look at Karasuna's defense. They really only have two defenders. They really only have two defenders. Kind this of, is how yeah. good Shira Torizawa is. The only two that have been really good besides Tsukishima of actually stopping mm. them on a defensive side of things has been Daichi and, and Nishinoya. Yep. When Suki started basically taking the defense of things really seriously, mm -hmm. he became that third defender. Right. Yeah. It shifted the entire course oh, of yeah. the game in oh, multiple yeah. points. Yeah. And now he's gone. Yeah. And and I love uh, the fact that they basically bring uh, up one of the second years that we hadn't even really gotten much nothing, of anything from. Anything. Like it's like, oh, that's what the person's name is? Okay. <laughs> like we we have no recollection but, who but that was. Th this is you know the, this is the whole night is darkest just before the dawn thing. Like like oh. like I'm, I'm I'm holding out that that's the case because because uh. here's the thing: if Karasuno were to lose here, mm -hmm. if Karasuno were to lose here, and Suki's on the sidelines, and you know, and this whoever it is is you know basically on on Narita. the court. Yeah, I think that might have been it. I think yeah, it was Narita. Yeah, um, that just. That would not feel right. That blows. That that would not that would not be crushing defeat. That would basically be just like like castration shouldn't have happened. You know it like you know just that that <sighs> yeah 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 yeah. So um so 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 what this means mm -hmm. what right. this means is that uh, because it's just a finger thing mm -hmm. right now yeah um and the fact that they had K come or was it K that's what he calls his brother. Yeah, Tsukishima's uh -huh. older brother yeah, came okay. in mm -hmm. and basically was like, hey, you know, you know, you can trust in them. <sighs> and it, there's this part where you could see how Suki went back into his old habits of trying to kind of play off things, not kind of be vulnerable in front of his brother and uh -huh. stuff. Um, when he comes back, when he comes back, uh -huh. he's either going to be the biggest cheerleader on the sidelines at at least one point, or he's going to get put back in almost immediately because he's going to beg Ukai. He's going to be like, I need you to put me back in on the yeah. court. Like, I yeah. cannot be here on the sidelines. If you're worried about my finger, yeah. <laughs> if you're worried about my finger getting injured, pulls out like garden shears. I'll cut my finger off. Like, let's just do this. Like, 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 well, because, because well, I feel like this is the point where basically like, not that he'd actually do that. No, no, of no, course not. No. no, but this is where he's going to show how much he is invested. Here. Exactly, because what was the title of this episode? Obsession. Obsession. Yep. yep. Now I was waiting to get into this. Now <laughs> uh. they, they showcased that very well for Shiratori is the thing. Yes, right? yes, very well. <laughs> but they also very much showcased it for Sakishima. <laughs> And that is, you know, like, like, like it was said. What, what, what world line are we in where Tsukishima makes a face like that? So, like, he, like, <gasps> I, if Ukai tries to keep him on the bench, I pray for his safety. <laughs> like, 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 because Suki, Suki will not stand for any of that. He'll be like, mm -mm, no, no, yep. no, uh, uh, like. Ugh. Also, also, with how much they went through the actual set mm -hmm. in this one episode. This set is going to go a decent amount of time. Yeah. And the thing is, is that in order for this set to go a decent amount of time, Carson needs to catch up really quickly. Mm -hmm. Very quickly. And quick if they way. need to catch up really quickly, that means something's going to need to happen that's With just <laughs> Carsuno pulling, like, the most insane uh -huh. just dedication... Yeah. into this game otherwise it's just over like it here's, will be over like halfway through the next episode if this uh -huh. like maintains even in the slightest here's what i want to see what do you want to see okay 
So back when I would play Dota 2, there would be this thing that would happen. Okay. Where whenever one of the teams was doing better, right? They uh-huh. would get lulled into this false sense of security, okay. right? And they would start playing not quite as good. And then there would be these moments where basically the the other team would just, like, you know, whether it was you or the people you were facing against and it was annoying when it was against you. But it would all the cylinders would be tank. firing. Everyone would be working in perfect harmony. There would be no actual, like, thought. It would just be action based on what they knew they had to do, right? Okay, yeah. And... It would be that whole thing of, like, victory for the other side is, like, just barely within their grasp, but they would just keep pushing them back again and again and again. So what I want to see is, I want to see Carcino not make a comeback right away. I want to see it get pushed even further, so that then maybe they've got, like, seven points, but then Shirator is always at, like, 13, right? And then Suki comes back, and it's basically like, oh, like okay. Suki and like, Yamaguchi. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, it, and it's basically just like, like, I'm ready. Like th- we have, like this is it. This is our moment. This, like, like you uh, know, let the stars align, and and the moment of truth is now. You know, but but I'm just saying, like this is this is something where that needs to happen. I think in this this next episode. Oh yeah, it does by the end of it. I, I want the next episode to end basically with Suki coming back and then being in horrible straits, and then it's just uh, like because the te- like, can you just imagine how real the tension would be there? Because but the thing, because mm, Haikyuu would be able to no. make it realistic of showing how they are managing to do all the stuff and coming back from a deficit like that. But, but that's still the kind point, of making isn't sense. Haikyuu is, I think too realistic in some in order of the, in that? some of the ways that it, it won't it won't end well if it continues like that all the way out to the end of this next episode. Yeah. I am more expecting like a 22 24 victory on like one of the other teams. Like one 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 of the teams me- meaning like basically one not one of the other teams. I meant like past the set basically. So okay. the set when we hit 15, it will not be a two point swing there. It will be basically a tiresome drawn out trading of energy back and forth back and forth back and forth unless they just decide to go hard flashbacks pacing wise (laughs) i don't think they can end it where it's one side is way far ahead well basically where shira torizawa is far ahead and it's okay so if they do shira torizawa is gonna win i just i just i'll just okay here i'm call it right now if they end the next episode with Shira Torizawa ahead by more than four points, mm-hmm. they win. And it's going to suck, and maybe they'll draw it out. Maybe they'll be able to come back and stuff. But no, I think Harasuna will lose then. I, but, uh, but, uh-huh. but if they do it a little bit faster than what you're thinking, mm-hmm. Tsukishima comes back in. People start firing on all cylinders at some point, mm-hmm. and they catch up to maybe within like one or two points. Oh, I'm going to be like... Like mm-hmm. seventy thirty, Karasuna will win. Well, okay, okay, because this is this is basically the main reason why I think what I was saying could be could be possible. Okay, is that look on Tsukishima's face, right? That that was the look of a madman, right? That was the look of someone who is truly obsessed. So, uh, wh- which look, please? Help uh, me no, out no, here. not not the not the passive look of when he was talking to no, Kay no, and stuff no, no, like no, that. No, I know, but which, I'm talking tell about me which the, part. the angry look when he's like walking away and like the pain. The, look the initial is... walking away, inside the court or outside the court? Uh, both. They look. They both looked pretty similar. Oh, okay. Because I noticed a difference actually. Okay. I think the inside one might be what you're talking about. Okay. The outside one was scared. He was scared that this was basically his his time where uh, he's like, gotcha. I have abandoned my team. I have failed uh, them. Right. Because Kyoko comes in and says, you don't have to worry mm-hmm. about coming back in to right. see them having lost. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. when she said that, I think that was a little bit... Like that's a like little a bit meta too, talk to the A little audience. bit of a meta talk to the audience yeah. because then we see Suki's face mm-hmm. in an honest expression and there is fear in there, whereas in the last time we saw his face, he had a little bit of the, I need to get back to the court kind uh-huh, of thing. Right. But he hadn't had the fear set in yet. Sure. And well, and I think then he was just realizing the pain was so great, he's like, I might be uh-huh. done. Like, this hurts. Like, yeah, yeah. it hurts so right. much. Right. So it and, might be broken. Uh, yeah, totally could yeah. be. 
But I could, I could, I'm just saying, I could see something happening where basically the 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 pain, the pain works his brain into basically oh, a frenzy, yeah. a frenzy unlike anyone has basically ever seen before. No pain, the, no gain. Yeah, to the point where oh, even Tendo is scared. He's like, "That would be awesome." Okay, so this is what it looks like for other people, you know? <laughs> yes, and then, this is what it looks like to see me exactly mirrored in and someone then, else. And then Suki suddenly, one touch isn't enough for him. Oh, nice See what I'm saying? Back. I like even, it. Even with a even with a finger that's basically useless, right? Okay. There, there's just there's just this 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 crazed look in his eye mm -hmm. that that completely throws off probably both sides. Yeah. <laughs> but, but now now these are mm -hmm. one player. Yeah. This is one player. Mm -hmm. I'm saying Nintendo and Suki. They're each one player on one team. Yes. The team that wins is the team with the best six. Mm -hmm. Karasuno has been really doing well as far yes. as the the six Fantastic. players yeah i think that shiro torizawa has been having moments where they're held back every once in mm -hmm. a while by a one player like tendo sometimes where he misses a a, a guest sure. block like uh some serves that are messed up and stuff but this is something where the the things that make karasuno great mm -hmm. their unrelenting offense and mm -hmm. their ability to adapt yep. with some unique plays and stuff might have lost their steam in that regard. Possibly. I haven't seen something like that work since that mm -hmm. Nishinoya set all in um all in attack. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. Like that was hype. That, that was, was so awesome. awesome. That was so but, great. But like mm -hmm. they've been basically pulling points kind of luckily through right. here and there. Well, but here, so, here's the thing though. Here's so the thing. Here we, uh, Shiro Torizawa's main like strength is the fact that they have a Shijima, right? I would say like if if because and Suki could potentially hard counter Sukishima, or yeah. Suki Ushijima, yeah, Suki can hard counter himself. That also happens. Yeah, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, <laughs> okay, this I, this this show is yeah, is this great, show is though. really good because it's, I think yeah. I can I think I can provide logical arguments for why both teams will win, mm -hmm. and that. Just that just means this is good stuff. Like yeah, this is yeah. really good. So guys, we're hyped. We're uh. loving this. This is Hi It's amazing. If you want to see the next episode's reaction of Hi right now, go check out the link in the description below for yes. our Patreon. You can get on early access there. Any level of support gets you access to our Discord, where you can chat with us about stories, Hi Q, non-related spoilery stuff. Uh, we're doing events coming up really soon, where there'll be like YouTube-wide rewards. You can check that out there. And yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.